It gives me great pleasure to welcome all of you on behalf of the Priyadarshini Academy to our 16th anniversary and biannual awards as well as our second international awards presentation function which has been organized here today. Our venerable guests of honor as well as various dignitaries are already in our midst and it's time to begin the proceedings. May I request 
all the distinguished and special guests who are to take their seats on the stage to kindly do so so that we can continue with our proceedings. I can see some people already occupying. I'd like to speak out some of the names. In case they are not, they are in the audience, I'll request them to kindly come onto the stage. Shri Ashok Chavan. Shri Anil Deshmukh. Shri Gopinath Munde. Shri Ashok Patil. May I request all of you to kindly take your seats. Shri Adik Shirodkar. Mr. Chandar Magnani. We also have our office bearers, co-chairman Mr. Murli Adnani, the two vice chairmen Shri Niranjan Hiranandani and Mr. Nayan Patel. I'd like them to kindly come onto the stage and take their places, please. Mr. Patel, Mr. Adnani, I'd like to take advantage of this opportunity to recognize and acknowledge the presence of some very good friends who have come all the way to be a part of this function. Mr. Vasu Rupani, Mr. G.B. Mahabubani, Mr. and Mrs. Ram Bakshani, Mr. and Mrs. Dayalda Salvani, Mr. Lakhulullah. A warm welcome to all of them besides all of you ladies and gentlemen. And now that we are well assembled here, let us begin the proceedings in our own traditional and auspicious manner by giving light to the ceremonial brass lamp, an ancient Indian tradition which signifies the spread of wisdom, knowledge and goodwill throughout the length and breadth of the world. I'd like to request Priyadashni Chairman Shri Nani Krupani to please escort our guest of honor Shri Suresh Prabhu to the auspicious lamp and I will request Sri Prabhu to kindly do us the honor of giving light to this lamp of wisdom and knowledge. A special request to all the gentlemen who are busy taking photographs. You're requested to kindly squat and take the photographs because the audience cannot see what's happening on the stage if you create a wall in front of them. This is a humble request and I'm sure you'll accede to it. Thank you. I'm sure most of you can see what is happening on the stage where our different, our various dignitaries are giving a hand in the lighting of this auspicious lamp. And I'm sure this lamp of learning will spread its light far and wide. Thank you very much, dignitaries on the stage. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, now that we've invoked the blessings of the God Almighty by giving light to this lamp, let me try and acquaint you with the profile and the working of the Priya Darshni Academy, which has in the last 16 years achieved an enviable recognition as one of the leading non-profit making, non-government socio-cultural organizations of our country. It was in March 1985 that the Priya Darshni Academy was born due to the dedicated efforts of some light-thinking, socially aware people, all of whom had been stirred and charged by the infectious enthusiasm of a dynamic and pragmatic youthful entrepreneur, Sri Nani Krupani. It started as a socio-cultural and educational organization, totally service-oriented and devoted to the ideals of integration through multi-channel activities and for the amelioration of the conditions of the down and out. 
It is a voluntary organization which by its sheer performance motivates people to contribute their might for the good of the society. No coercion, no pressure, no unreasonable reasonable demands. Its guiding spirit is, love us for what we are and the society will return the compliment manifold. The Academy sets much store by the team spirit and collective work and to achieve the smooth working of its operation, the Chairman Shinani Krupani has been able to inspire a number of socially aware personalities who are willingly giving of their time and efforts. The Academy has widely acclaimed programs on national integration, prevention of drug addiction, family welfare, anti dowry and women's emancipation, afforestation, promotion of literature and arts in various forms, appreciation of performers and achievers from the fields of sports and games, thus representing a new spirit which should be guiding every thinking Indian. The speciality of the Academy is that with every passage, with the passage of every year, it is not only growing in stature, but is evolving as a multifaceted organization to envelop more and more wider global and international dimensions. International understanding and cooperation with emphasis on exchange of culture and philosophy is another sphere that the Academy lays great stress on. Ladies and gentlemen, the Academy puts great store by education too, and to support education, a number of scholarships are given each year to deserving students from various sections of society at the school as well as college levels. We also have a very active and effective forum of environmental protection which is doing exemplary work under the chairmanship of a stalwart such as the former Chief Justice of the Supreme Court of India, Sri Y. V. Chandrachur, ably supported by a very dynamic group comprising of the internationally renowned environmentalist Dr. Rashmi Mayur, amongst others. The Academy has 16 committees to look after the various aspects of its work, each being under the charge of a prominent leader or a celebrity, who are able to inspire dedication and devotion amongst its members. An important annual event, as you know, is the Priyadarshini Awards, which has acquired an enviable prestige over the years and are decided by a panel of very eminent and illustrious judges <coughs> comprising educationists, social workers, film stars, sportsmen, political enthusiasts, and literary pundits. Two years ago, the Academy, as you know, has taken yet another gigantic step by instituting the international awards, the global awards to be bestowed upon distinguished personalities from all over the world for their outstanding contribution in their respective disciplines. This is a mega event which aims to put India on the global cultural map. And the award winners have been decided by an advisory committee made up of some of the most outstanding personalities from various spheres of life. They work under the chairmanship of our all-time friend Dr. Ram Tarneja, former chairman of Bennett Coleman and Company. This international committee comprises of Mr. Praveen Ghatalia, Sri S. Raj Gopal, Dr. Mohan Bhai Patel, Sri Solomon Raj, Sri Adik Shirodkar, Sri Pramod Navalkar, Sri P. P. Chabria, Sri Mati Jaya Bachchan, and Ms. Poonam Dhillon, Sri Ashok Vadva, and Ms. Shakun Mulchandani, all well known names in their di different disciplines. These are the people who have guided and the process of nominations and selection of today's international awards too, and we are extremely obliged and grateful to them. Creativity and self-sufficiency are synonymous with the motto of Priyadarshini, ladies and gentlemen, which is striving to make the dreams of the common man a truth and a reality. And all this has been possible due to the foresighted and dynamic approach triggered off by the Academy's live wire chairman, Sri Nani Krupani, who is a man of ideas which get translated into action. Full of initiative, enterprise, deep involvement in anything he undertakes, blessed with an engaging personality whose smile and visage are a mirror to his transparent sincerity, Mr. Rupani has all the ingredients of a social welfare leader. So tremendous is his zeal and enthusiasm in anything that he undertakes that anyone associated with him in any way cannot remain untouched for long. His devotion is infectious, ladies and gentlemen. His aims are noble. His interest is deep and abiding, whether is it, in, it is in his business or in his socio-cultural educational crusade under the banner of the Priyadarshini Academy. In all his efforts, he has met with remarkable success and recognition, which is more than evident by the various professional as well as 
non-professional offices that he graces with exemplary zeal. Besides being our chairman, chairman of Priyadarshini, he is also the chairman of the Electronics Telecommunication Committee of the Indian Merchants Chamber, of NK Telecommunications, Neutron Electronics Systems, Adino Telecom Limited, and a member of the board of directors of Indus Inn Enterprises and Finance Limited. He was also conferred upon the BR Man of the Year in Hong Kong in 1998 and a doctorate by the Open International University of Complementary Medicines at the World Congress in Colombo in 1997. It was a great moment of pride for Priyadashni when Sri Rupani presented a portrait of our former Prime Minister of India, the late Sri Rajiv Gandhi, to the Parliament, which was installed in the Central Hall in the Parliament House in 1993. Small wonder then, ladies and gentlemen, with so many achievements that under such an aggressive and pragmatic leadership, Priyadashni Academy has grown from strength to strength, which is more than evident by this enormous turnout of people and well-wishers this afternoon. Thank you very much for being with us, ladies and gentlemen. As is, uh, thank you. As is our want, we would like to acknowledge some of the sponsors who have aided and helped us for this function. We cannot but recognize them. I'm sorry I'm taking so much time, but this is my duty and a very honorable duty. Our co-sponsors for today are Baron Electronics Private Limited and the State Bank of India, who are also supported by TIPS firms, IDBI, Indescent Bank, ITC, NEC, HDFC, Jasubhai Shah Digital Media, Phenolex Cables, Global Insurance Services, Shopper Stop, Adino Telecom, K. Raheja Corporation, Hiranandani Construction, Crossword, Neutron, NK Telecommunications, Patel Extrusion, Onida, the Oriental Insurance Company, the Club in Mumbai, Kent Cars, Oberoi Hotels and Resorts, The Orchid, Vantage Advertising, Zenith Outdoors, and Indian Express Group. The trophies are given by Glass Fusion. And now, ladies and gentlemen, after this, I'd like to request the founder chairman of Priyadashni Academy, Sri Nani Krupani, to kindly do us the honor of presenting his welcome address and extending to all of you a formal and cordial welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Nani Krupani. First of all, I would like to apologize if there is any inconvenient to any of our guests because we are trying to improve. I wish we have a much bigger place in this city because many of the award winners, I am sorry if they are inconvenienced, but we have been trying to improve every time, whatever possible, but there are certain things which are beyond our control. Our distinguished guest of honors, special guests, dignitaries on the dais, distinguished awardees, distinguished members of foreign consulates, overseas Indian dignitaries, members of advisory committee, dignitaries in audience, members of print and electronic media, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Priyadashni Academy, I extend to you a very warm welcome for being with us this evening. Our guest of honor and special guests are the distinguished personalities from the political and social field. Their acceptance of our invitation indicates that their depth of love and affection toward this institution is tremendous. I am particularly grateful to Mr. Suresh Prabhu, Union Minister for Chemicals and Fertilizer, who in spite of his very busy schedules has accepted our invitation to be with us this evening. We are delighted to you, have you, sir, amongst us at this 16th anniversary international awards function. Your concern and commitment to the cause of environment protection is well known. Priyadashni Academy too has been working in the same direction for cleaner and greener environment under the dynamic leadership of Justice Chandrachud, former Chief Justice of India, we will be soon organizing a roundtable conference with the expert from the field of environment along with the Prize Water House and Mr. Praveen Ghatalia, who is present here, has, given, has assured us full support. 
Present year today is a legal luminary, one of the most outstanding criminal lawyer of this country, Mr. Ram Jet Malani. He has been a friend, philosopher and guide. Shri Mati Javanti Ben Mehta, Union Minister of State for Power, represents one of the most prestigious constituency where the who's who of this country reside. She is a very popular MP from this area. Both Mr. Ram Jet Malani and Shri Mati Javanti Ben Mehta have come forward to help the academy to achieve its goal. Mr. Patang Rao Kadam, who will be here any moment, he has lost his mother, but his flight is delayed. And along with him, Ashok Chawan and Anil Deshmukh, who hold important portfolio in the present government, have from time to time extended their invaluable support to us. Mrs. Prabha Rao, Mr. Ram Rao Adik, Nana Chudasma and Ashok Patil have stood like a rock with the academy since its inception. And today also Prabha Rao has specially flown from Delhi and I don't think there's any function where Ram Rao Adik and Prabha Rao is not present. The function is incomplete without them. I would like to put on record tremendous effort by Dr. Ram Tanreja, Chairman of the Academy Awards Committee. My sincere thanks and gratitude to the committee members, Sri Adik Shrodkar, who is just like an elder brother to me, he has been always available whenever we have demanded his time, Member of Parliament, Shri Pralat Chabria, Mr. S. Rajgopal, Dr. Mohan Bhai Patel, Shakun Mulchandani, and all the others of mem uh, Managing Committee. They have accomplished a herculean task in scrutinizing and selecting the awardees. You know how difficult it is because one awardee is better than the other. It's really a herculean task. Priyadashni Academy has been recognizing the service rendered by the leading personalities from different parts of the world who have made a significant contribution in different disciplines for the welfare of humanity. We are fortunate to have with us today the galaxy of dignitaries who are being recognized for their outstanding services. They are institution by themselves and we feel honored by their gracious presence here today. Because of constraint of time, I will not be taking their name. I think Sarita Sethi will do a wonderful job. This year, we will be having a separate literary awards function for Hindi, Marathi and Sindhi literature, which carries cash prizes of 25,000 rupees each. The function will be held in February. Much as I would like to go into the details of projects undertaken by the Academy in the last two years, I am compelled not to do so as it will be a time consuming affair. I would appreciate if you would glance through the details in the souvenir release today which carries the complete report of our activities. As you know, the Prime Minister of India is due to arrive in Delhi this evening after his successful tour to US. The Minister present from Delhi here, Javanti Ban and Suresh Prabhu will receive Prime Minister personally. So I would like, I would request all our distinguished speakers and award winners to help us to cooperate so that we can finish the function in time. I am happy to inform you that the publication of Priyadashni Academy will be now available all over India at the crossroad, crossword chain of bookstore. They include Making of an Institution, which gives details of 16 years of Priyadashni Academy and the book on laughter therapy. Our sincere thanks to Ravi, Neil and his father Chandru Reheja, who, who are present here, for the tie-up of Priyadashni Academy and crossword. We are indebted to Mr. Subramaniam, Chairman of Unit Trust of India, for writing the foreword of our 16 years book, which will be released today. One of our prominent and most important program is national integration through dances and music. It provides a platform to encourage young upcoming artists in the field of classical music and dance. And we have been attracting talent from each and every corner of this country. Charu Singh has been personally involved in this project and every year it is becoming more and more popular. India is emerging today as a leader of IT power. The whole world is looking at the capacity and the capabilities of Indian in this field. 
it has given us a new sense of pride making us confident that 21st century belongs to india every year therefore we have been increasing the number of academic scholarship to students we hope that many more students will be encouraged to take up higher studies the scholarship will be given to all the students by the gracious hand of our education minister shri anil deshmukh apart from this academy activities we have been awarding scholarship to many student in different field this year we have decided to introduce a research group on vedic studies as it is widely accepted that basic language of computer is closely linked with sanskrit going back to our roots will help us to regain the immense knowledge left to us by our forefathers which will open new horizons for generation to come as you know for the last 13 years priyadarshini academy had no fundraising drive it worked hard with the support from a very few close friends and associates in 1998 we started our first fundraising drive i am glad to inform you this year our sponsors have been very generous to our appeal sarita uh, sarita sethi has mentioned all the names of state bank indusind bank finolex rahejas hdfc mr ramesh and kumar torani of tips mr pralad chabria and shakun mulchandani who are also on our panel members have volunteered to be the sponsors for this award function mr sanjeev malotra of oberai and anena goenka of indian express have been supporting us from inception in gratitude we will be presenting them with the mementos with all the awardees today mr balram rupani has helped the design and put up the academy's website and mr akhil shahani who now takes over will ensure that it will be updated from time to time today's function would not have seen the light of the day mr b n makhija mr gopal das mehbubani mr dayal hemrajani and the members of neutron and nk group nayan patel for an excellent planning and coordination mr dinesh khanna mr hinduja mr gulu mirchandani mr niranjan hiranandani punam dilan murli adnani mr nana chudasma dr rashmi mayur and prabodh thakkar and mr dinesh parik mahesh thakkar and auti mr mukesh sharma of doordarshan has done a wonderful job this is the first time our program will be shown live all over the country on sahadri channel and it has its footprints in singapore and hong kong so we are trying to see that millions and millions of people who would like to watch this program rakhi and harish mirchandani and sarita sethi has been with us from the day one each one of them they have lent their whole hearted support to make this function a memorable one priyadarshini staff charu singh shabina abhi nidhi and triza have also spend their time they have been working late in the evening ladies and gentlemen on this occasion of 16th anniversary international award function i take great pleasure once again and extending to you a very very hearty welcome friends we have got vvips from all over the world all over nrs mr ram bakshani mehbubani we have with us the president of indian merchant chamber mrs daftari gori pahumal i would like to recognize mr sham chug there are so many vips who have come from different parts of the world mr vasu rupani and it's really a pleasure for us to have you with us and once again i will conclude if there is any inconvenience i am sure you will bear with us thank you very much thank you very much for your words of appreciation and welcome shinani krupani and now ladies and gentlemen we'd like to take this opportunity to perform one of our traditional tasks which is to present mementos of respect and appreciation to our special guests of honor who are gracing this occasion for the first time it is a warned that any time a special guest graces the priyadarshini awards function for the first time we present them with a token of remembrance so that they can take back fond memories of this occasion We are indeed indebted to the Honorable Shri Suresh Prabhu, Union Minister for Chemicals and Fertilizers, Government of India, for gracing today's occasion. A politician, a social worker, and educationist, he is known for his innovative and dynamic planning, with a keen foresight, ensuring speed in the completion of projects undertaken. 
As Union Min Cabinet Minister for Environment and Forests in 1998-99, he developed a detailed action plan for 33% forest cover in India. Now, as Union Minister for Chemicals and Fertilizers, he has launched India Chem 2000, the largest chemical show to be held in New Delhi in October, aiming to put India on the world map. We are delighted to have Sri Suresh Prabhu with us as our guest of honor today, and I'd like to express our appreciation with this commemorative memento, which I shall request our chairman, Sri Nani Krupani, to kindly present. Once again, there is a request from people in the audience for my good, good friends of the media, the photographers. Do you think you can just kneel down? Maybe you'll get a better angle if you take that one. And then it'll be convenient for the audience also to have a look at what is happening on the stage. They've come from far and near to be a part of this function. Thank you so much. Another person who is really making us proud by her presence amidst this galaxy, and first time so, is the Honorable Union Minister of State for Power, Srimati Jayanti Ben Mehta, who started a political life in 1968 as a municipal councillor of Mumbai. Known popularly as a giant killer due to her spectacular wins over larger-than-life opponents, she has contributed significantly on a number of committees as a member, such as industry, home affairs, women's forums, textiles, railway board, and the Ministry for Information and Broadcasting. In 1999, she was elected to the Lok Sabha and took her present charge as the Union Minister for St of State for Power. 1993-95, she was the All India Vice President of Bharatiya Janata Party and the member of the Joint Committee on the 81st Constitution Amendment Bill of 1996 regarding 33% reservation for women. Shivati Mehta is making us proud by her presence here today and I shall request one of the leading associates of Priyadarshini, Dr. Ram Tarneja, to kindly do us the honor of presenting this memento on all our behalfs. One of the most spectacular and popular figures of Indian politics who is gracing today's occasion is our guest of honor, the Honorable Member of Parliament, Sri Ram Jait Malani, senior advocate and member of Lok Sabha since 1977. In 1988, he was elected as a member of the Upper House, where he was re-elected in April 2000. Recipient of the Human Rights Award, Sri Jait Malani has been an active member of several wide-ranging committees such as Transport, Tourism, Subordinate Legislation as well as the Consultative Committee for the Ministry of External Affairs. We all remember him as a dynamic Union Minister of Urban Affairs and Employment and as the Union Minister of Law, Justice and Company Affairs. A leading legal luminary with his own inimitable style of functioning, Mr. Jait Malani was also the chairman of the Bar Council of India in 1970. Thank you very much for being with us today, Mr. Jait Malani, and I will request Sri Nani Krupani to kindly present this commemorative memento to Sri Jait Malani. As I said before, ladies and gentlemen, Priyadarshini prides itself on being the recipient of a lot of care and support from a number of people from different walks of life who actually make a galaxy of who's who of our country. We are indebted to each and every one of them, and we'd like to express our deep appreciation through the most eloquent messengers of sentiments, colorful, fragrant floral tributes. Our first floral tribute to another friend and well-wisher of Priyadarshini ever since its inception, our guest of honor, Srimati Prabha Rao, also a four-time minister in the government of Maharashtra, a sought-after member of various delegations. She's led Indian delegations to the UN as well as UNESCO. Thank you for being with us, Mrs. Prabha Rao, as always. Sri Ashok Chavan, he was supposed to be here. There were a number of ministers, but I believe they are dele delayed due to various reasons. Sri Anil Deshmukh, he is the Minister of State for Education, Sports, Information and Public Relations Government of Maharashtra, a truly dynamic and suave Minister of State. A progressive farmer, you wouldn't believe it looking at him as he's turned out now. He is a progressive farmer with a master's in agriculture 
He belongs to a family of free fighters, though his own foray into politics was a mere chance happening. Priyadarshini is delighted to have him. Reasons. Shri Anil Deshmukh. He is the Minister of State for Education, Sports, Information and Public Relations Government of Maharashtra. A truly dynamic and suave Minister of State. A progressive farmer, you wouldn't believe it looking at him as he's turned out now. He is a progressive farmer with a master's in agriculture. He belongs to a family of free fighters, though his own foray into politics was a mere chance happening. Priyadarshini is delighted to have him as a friend and we've said so with this bouquet of flowers. Shri Ram Rao Adik, former minister of Maharashtra, an all-time friend of Priyadarshini. He was the deputy chief minister of Maharashtra and whenever and whichever portfolio he held, it was always a runaway success. We are forever grateful to Sri Ram Rao Adik, who is an all-time friend. Thank you, Adik sir. And now one of the oldest and dearest friends of Academy, Nana Churasama, whose very name rings a bell having been twice sheriff of Mumbai, founder chairman of Giants International, winner of the Afforestation Award in 1990, and particularly known for his love of the city of Mumbai, heralded through his I Love Mumbai campaign. I always say, Nana loves Mumbai and we love Nana. Thank you, Nana, for being with us today. Mr. Ashok Patil, an all-time friend, former minister in the state government of Maharashtra. He was to come and I thought he was there. Thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, but I'm sure they will make it by, by and by as the time follows. And now, ladies and gentlemen, you'll be glad to know that based on the life story of the Priyadarshini Academy, a very special book has been published entitled Making of an Institution, about which Nan Nanik Bhai just told you something. This is the saga of an NGO, an organization, which has now turned into an institution. The story of sheer dedication and sincerity has been compiled by the Chief Executive Officer of Priyadarshini, Ms. Charu Singh, along with Ms. Nandini Krishna, and has been edited and designed by the Observer Group of Publications. Heralding the beginning of a long and fruitful association, hopefully, between Priyadarshini and the Crossword chain of bookstores, it is being distributed all over India through Crossword and will be available at all their outlets. We would like to take advantage of this occasion and request the Honorable Shri Suresh Prabhu to kindly release the first copy of this very prestigious publication in the midst of this distinguished galaxy of people. I shall request the proprietor of Crossword, Mr. Neil Raheja, to please kindly come on to the stage. And Mr. Chandru Raheja, you are specially requested to come forward, please. Mr. Neil Raheja and Mr. Chandru Raheja, please come on to the stage and be a part of the commemorative photographs. And I shall request Sri Suresh Prabhu to kindly release the first copy. Could you go a little closer on the other side, uh, Mr. Ch uh, Mr. Raheja, so that you can become a part of the photographs? May I request Mr. Suresh Prabhu to give the first, present the first copy, first release copy to our chairman, Sri Nanik Rupani. Field day for the photographers, but we want that too because this is documenting for future as well. Okay, the book has been released, ladies and gentlemen, and if you'd like to know more about Priyadarshini Academy, it's all there in this book because this is a saga of the 16 years of its existence. Do have a look at it and buy your copy from Crosswords. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Priyadarshini has promoted the very active and effective laughter club all over Mumbai, all over the country, as well as in various centers abroad. Much in demand is the book on laughter therapy, which has brought, been brought out by us. And us, on our special request, Crossword has agreed to carry this book in their bookstores too. In case you're interested, please get it from them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the awards presentation function. We will be taking a little time because every time we have uh, uh, the award winner coming on, I will take a minute or so 
introducing him to you. And so, as you know, two years ago, Priyadarshini Academy ha has introduced and instituted these international awards in various fields of global endeavor and achievements. We are delighted to record here the overwhelming response that we've received for these awards and the fact that most of the award winners have made it convenient to be present with us on this occasion. I'm sure you'll agree with me when I say that an award is definitely important but becomes even more momentous and meaningful through the names that are associated with it through the awardees. We are lucky to have a galaxy of luminaries with us today and I would like to request the dignitaries who are going to present the awards as I request them to kindly come to the center of the stage during the presentations so that our special guest of honor, Shri Suresh Prabhu and Chairman Shri Nani Kropani can also be a part of the presentation. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a wonderful suggestion coming from our associate, Shrimati Prabha Rao, during the 98 function, and we are thankful to her for the same. And now we begin the international awards. The Global Award for Outstanding Contribution for Promotion of Human Rights and Democracy goes to Dr. Frene Jinwala. She is the Speaker of the National Assembly of South Africa. Once again, I'd like to request the people of uh, my friends, the lensmen, not to obstruct the sight of people in the audience because you are making a strong wall between the, two, the stage and the audience. I can see it. It's a multiply thick, multiple thick uh, uh, wall, very difficult to, yeah, th thank you so much. Dr. Jinwala has been a long-standing member of the Nas African National Congress. After more than 30 years in exile, Dr. Jinwala returned to South Africa when the ANC was unbanned. She became a member of Mr. Mandela's secretariat in ANC president's office. Between 1991 and 1994, Dr. Jinwala headed the ANC's research department. She also served as the deputy head of the ANC Commission for the Emancipation of Women and was the ANC representative on the Science and Technology Initiative. Dr. Jinwala entered parliament in 1994 and was elected Speaker of South Africa's first democratically elected National Assembly. Dr. Jinwala remains an active member of the ANC and is committed to the achievement of substantive equality for women. She is currently co-chairperson of the Global Coalition of Africa, chairperson of the Southern African Development Co Community Parliamentary Forum and has just been elected chairperson of the Commonwealth Association Africa Region. May I request our, our chief guest, Sri Suresh Prabhu, to kindly present this award to Dr. Jinwala. Dr. Jinwala, may I request you to kindly come onto the stage, please? Thank you very much for being with us, Dr. Jinwala, and I'm sure you must be experiencing a number of emotions today during this international honor. I'm sure you'd like to share some of them with the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome once again Dr. Freni Jinwala. Distinguished guests, members of the Academy, and all of you who have been participating in the work of the Academy. I am humbled by this award, but in making it, I know you do honor not to an individual, but to the struggle of the people of South Africa, who for more than a century, <laughs> for more than a century, they have faced various forms of oppression and institutionalized racialism. Today, we who are the survivors of that struggle are all too aware that the success of the South Africa of today 
is not the product of a miracle. It's not the product of one individual, but that of the many thousands over many, many decades. Young and old, even children, people of all races, men and women, who have given their lives to make the South Africa of today. And we, as its heirs, have got now to create a new society, one based on equality, on democracy, on non-sexism, on non-racism. These are principles which I know you in India inspired your own struggle and which have helped build your own democracy. And therefore, it behoves us as peoples of both countries to come together as we face the challenges ahead of globalization and the 21st century. Because we believe that unless we are able to involve the bulk of our people in the struggles that are ahead of us, we will not be able to shape the outcomes of globalization, which left untamed will create further divisions between the rich and the poor, between the countries of the developed world and the developing countries. So in as much as this award has been given across the ocean, I wish to make an appeal that we work together. I'm inspired by the work of the Academy, by the way you have tried to empower individuals in order that they may help the community, and that you have tried to make a community aware. I salute the Academy. I express my appreciation once again for the honor that you have bestowed on us. And I look forward to greater cooperation between our peoples. I thank you once more. Thank you very much, Dr. Jinwala, for your short and sweet acceptance. I hope all the other award winners who will be coming consequently uh, will take less time so that we are able to finish, as Dr. Mr. Rupani said, we have to finish the program within a certain amount of time. And I request all of you to be as short and sweet as Dr. Jinwala. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, our next award is the Harish Mahindra Memorial Glo Global Award for Outstanding Contribution for Corporate Social Responsibility. As you know, this has been instituted in the name of a leading entrepreneur, industrialist of our country, the late Sri Harish Mahindra, who was always with us in the Priyadarshini Academy. And this award goes to Mr. Katsuhiko Machida, President, Sharp Corporation, Japan. I would request the award winners to please keep standing there because they'll be escorted onto the stage. But I have to introduce them before that. Born in mid-1943, he's a graduate from the Kyoto University. In Japanese corporate tradition, he joined the Sharp Corporation in 1969 to eventually write the history and set standards to grow with the corporate body by heading domestic sales and marketing, consumer electronics, and international business. From the position of corporate senior executive director, he went on to become the president of the corporation. I will now request Srimati Anuradha Mahindra, the daughter-in-law of Sri Harish Mahindra, to kindly come on to the stage and present this award to Mr. Katsuhiko Machida. Okay, we will request uh, our great and revered guest of honor, Sri Ram Jait Malani, to kindly present this award. And Anuradha, who herself is an entrepreneur, a very dynamic person, the editor of Verve magazine, will be a part of the presentation. Mr. Machida, please accept this token of, your, of our appreciation of your achievements at the hands of Mr. Ram Malan. Mr. Machita, I can assure you that having you accept this award is as much an honor for us as it is for you. And I'd like to request you to kindly take a, few, a couple of minutes and say a few words in response to this award. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Katsuhiko Machida.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Katsuhiko Machida of Sharp Corporation Japan. It is a great honor to, for me to receive esteemed Global Award from the Academy on behalf of all the employees of Sharp Corporation. Uh, since uh, its founding in 1912, beginning with the invention of the ever sharp pencil, from which the company name was derived, Sharp has created Japan's first mass produced radio and television set, the world's first electric calculator and uh, rigid crystal display, uh, here and after LCD, among many other products. In this way, we have continuously pioneered new frontiers, working for the improvement of individual lifestyles and uh, the development of society. We have been able to make a worldwide contribution to society in the field of LCDs. We started research into market, marketing, uh, ma into making the, the LCD our corporate strong point in 1969. Since then, we have taken the initiative to foster the LCD as the most important device next to semiconductor. And we have succeeded in making the LCD an essential part of almost every product display. The LCD is nowadays recognized worldwide as one of the most important industries. And not only electronics company in Japan, but also international blue chips have invested in this new business. Currently, uh, sharp products are used and enjoyed throughout the world. Here in India, we started with the establishment of a sales and a manufacturing company for consumer electronics back in 1989, Karyani Sharp India Limited. We have more recently made further investment to serve the Indian industry by the addition of a software developing company in 1999, Sharp Software Development Private Limited, and a sales subsidiary company for information technology product, Sharp Business System India Limited, this April. Sharp will make every effort to open up new fields by making full use of our device technology and of our wide-range development capability to realize an enriched, newly digitized society. In conclusion, I would like to sincerely ask for your continuing patronage of SHARP, and I would like to say thank you very much for allowing me to speak to you today. Thank you.